back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat. I got some stuff to talk about today, and this might not be a topic that you expect, but I'm going to talk about it because I have to be, you know, cover all areas of the WNBA, not just Indiana. If you haven't noticed, the Las Vegas Aces are a threat. The Las Vegas Aces are finding themselves. They are 7-1 and one over the last eight games. Their only loss was at New York, 75-71, in a game that Asia Wilson did not play in. This team was struggling. They were scuffling after the break. They lost three of their first four. They did not look good. They did not look cohesive. They looked like they had problems. Even after even after losing for three of the first four, they beat the Chicago Sky by a backdoor pass at the buzzer. Poor performance. They lost at Dallas, 93-90. Awful performance despite 42 out of Asia Wilson. But since that time, <clears throat> the Las Vegas Aces have looked otherwise fantastic. They have found themselves. They are looking like a team that is ready to make a playoff push and looking to try to defend their championships, their back-to-back titles, and they're looking for a third. Right now, they're sitting at 25 and 13. They are going to be, they're entrenched as the four seed. I don't see them losing either of their final games um, against Seattle. They play at Seattle and then they play Dallas. The Seattle game, they beat Seattle, they beat Seattle. Okay, so the Seattle game here, if they win, they're going to be the four. If they lose, there is the possibility of a tiebreaker. Now, I don't know what the tiebreaker is for the WNBA because they would have split the season series. They have conference records. I'm not sure. But nonetheless, they're going to play the Seattle Storm in the first round. That's who they're playing. And I think they'll beat the Seattle Storm in the playoff series, whether they're hosting or on the road. They're playing really well now. They have the, and what's what the biggest difference right now <clears throat> is their defense. Since that Dallas game, they've given up 72, 79, 71, 67, even in a loss, 75, 75, 74, 71. They have not given up 80 points in the last eight games. And if you look at the WNBA teams, most most of these teams average upwards of 80. There's only four teams that average less than 80 points, the Atlanta Dream and the Chicago Sky. And in that case, they held Chicago at 71 under their average, and they held Atlanta to 72, which is actually under their average. So they have been holding teams off the board. Indiana, who they just beat twice, who averages 85 points a game, scored 75 and 74 in back-to-back games on their home court. They're, they're, they're stepping up their game where they need to step up their game, and that's defensively. As good as Asia Wilson has played, as well as, well as she has played, what is coming down to right now is they're, they're making a focus to defend. Connecticut, 67 points, and set, they've beaten Connecticut twice in the last eight games. That's huge. And they beat them at Connecticut 72-67, and they beat them at home 84-71. Connecticut averages 80 points a game. You hold them well under their average. So, and if you look at some of the things involved on their team, you know, the Aces are the highest scoring team by points per game in the league. So they can put the ball in the hole. Now, What you've also seen, it seems like a little bit of an emergence of Chelsea Gray. Chelsea Gray doesn't look like, didn't look like she was in the greatest shape when she got to, when she got back this year. And she still doesn't look like she's in great shape. I mean, her season stats are paltry. They're they're bad. 8.5 points, 4.9 assists, 2.8 rebounds, nothing special. But over the last five games, I mean, 13 points. Now she had three points versus New York, 11 versus Indiana, 21 versus Indiana, nine versus Connecticut. She, I mean, she's 
at a six and six, six and six, four assists, six and six. She's shooting. She's playing pretty well for, for, you know, in comparison to what she looked like when she first got back from her injury. She's looking pretty good. I, I mean, you got to give it to her. You got to give it to her. And if you look at her over the course of since the break, <clears throat> I mean, she's averaging since the break. Seven, fourteen. She averaged nine point five points. I mean, she has some duds in there. I mean, she has a two point game against uh, Phoenix, where she only played eleven minutes. But she's starting to play better. That's my point. She's starting to play better, and that's important for them. If she plays better, they have a much better chance to win. Tiffany Hayes has been a godsend for them off the bench, averaging nine points per game. She's had some big bench performances this year. So she's another big player that's of importance to them. Kelsey Plum is is averaging seven, almost 18 a game. Now, she does have struggles at times with, you know, shooting the ball like everybody else in the WNBA. But for the most part, over the last seven games, heck, over the last eight games, she's averaging – She's averaging less than her season average, so forget what I said. <laughs> but overall, I mean, they're playing – as a unit, they're playing better. So disregard that part about Kelsey Plum. But as a unit, they're playing better. They just are. And it's going to be a major thing for them defensively to see how they go defensively. Because if they defend and they get – they have a way to get physical without getting fouls called. It's rather remarkable to watch them when they get physical and no fouls get called on them. But I think the Las Vegas Aces are making a point to show you that they're back. They're ready for business. And let's be real. I don't have to like Becky Hammond, but Becky Hammond's a very good coach. And Becky Hammond knows how to control tempo. She knows how to control control how the game runs. And she did it versus Indiana twice in a row. She slowed down a fast team. Now, who would they play in the second round? Likely the New York Liberty. The New York Liberty have beaten them all three times this year. So there is that. However, this is the playoffs, and they beat the Liberty last year in the championship. I just think they're – if you had asked me a month ago, I would tell you that the Vegas might be out in the first round. But the way they're playing right now, they look like they have figured something out, and they look like defensively they're in tune and they're, they're locked in. And they do finish with Seattle and Dallas, and I expect them, expect them to win both of those games and finish 27 and 13. Yes, it's worse than they were last year in regular season. <clears throat> but if they were to finish the season winning nine of their last 10, I think they're very, very dangerous, and you need to watch out for the Las Vegas Aces. So just my thoughts and comments on them. I think they're a team to be reckoned with, a team to watch. And it sounds stupid because they are the back-to-back -back defending champions. However, a month ago, they looked like shit, and now a month later, they look like they're on top of the world. So we'll see what happens. Leave me, let me know what your thoughts are. Leave a comment. Love to hear what you got to say. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, and hit that notification so that you get every video up to the minute. Come on now.